Okay, g'day everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to look at the tax rates that are used when you are running simpler bass. Now, simpler bass as opposed to the full bass, the more traditional bass statement, is available for businesses that are turning over less than 10 million a year when it comes to their GST revenue. So this will make your life a little bit easier because it has less options to choose from. So it's just a little bit easier to sort of work your way through sort of what option is required for what kind of transaction. So let's go have a look at a spend money transaction where we can see the selection of tax rates available. And as always, we're in the demo file here in Zero, which is great for getting in and having a little play with certain features and you know you don't have to worry about mucking up your main company file. So here we are in a spend money transaction. We're gonna go into the tax rate field. And of course you can get to the same tax rate field if you're doing your bank rec from the reconciliation screen. I'll just show you that very quickly. So if you're reconciling directly off the bank statement, you have your tax rate here. And also when you're entering bills or entering sales through the invoice registers. But for this example, we'll just go through spend money because it's nice and easy. So let's look, have a look at what we've got. So this is our options here. We've got BAS excluded, GST free expenses, GST free income, GST on sales, GST on imports, GST on income. Okay, so we'll just go down the list here. First off, we've got BAS excluded. Now BAS excluded is similar to what you used to have as an NT code if you're used to using Myob. Um, it's used for anything that is outside the GST system. So that might be for payroll items, it might be for depreciation um, and things like that. More, uh, maybe if you're doing a journal to the balance sheet, um, for instance, accumulated depreciation, that'll be BAS excluded, things like that. It's not generally used for your normal um, P&L type transactions. Also, if you're not registered for GST at all, um, everything you do will go through as BAS excluded. So don't use these codes here at all if you're not registered for GST. And if you aren't registered for GST, what you should do in your chart of accounts is have every account set up as a default here, see the tax rate, as BAS excluded for everything if you're not registered for GST because you're not reporting a BAS and you don't want GST on your transactions or your invoices. Okay, so that's BAS excluded. Now moving down the list, we got GST free expenses. So pretty self-explanatory mostly where this is expenses that don't have GST because um, not everything has the 10% GST. Most things do, but many things don't. Uh, you'll notice when you go, if you have to buy food for your business, uh, for catering, for a function or whatever it may be, um, and you go to the supermarket, you'll notice that when you look at the GST amount, it almost always won't be the full 10%. That's because a lot of groceries being, um, uh, I guess, sort of like primary produced in a sense, and they haven't been further processed, so they don't have... They haven't had value added, so uh, because they haven't had value added by being further processed, they're in their raw form, being like a carrot or an onion or whatever it might be, um, it is therefore GST free, so there's no GST on things that haven't been further processed, like groceries. Also medical generally doesn't have GST, education is generally GST free, bank fees are GST free, except... Um, merchant fees, which were usually GST, so you gotta watch out for that. And interest on loans is uh, no GST on that, so that would go to GST free expense as well. Now moving on to GST free income. Now this would be used if you're, you are a GST registered entity, so you are using all these tax codes, but you may be providing services that 
are GST free. So for example, you might be um, a, like, a, like a fruit seller or a butcher, or you might provide some kind of good or service that doesn't have GST on it. You do, you are registered for GST because you're over the 75,000 um, threshold for registration and you need to claim GST on your purchases, but when you aren't required to put GST on your sales because they are not further processed and you're exempt from GST, then you would go GST free income. You might also use this uh, for export sales. So if you're sending stuff off overseas and, and that doesn't have GST attached, you would put GST free income as well on that. Now moving down to GST on expenses, this is the most common one you're going to use. So most things will have GST on them, apart from the things that I outlined when I was going through uh, GST free expenses. The, those things I outlined isn't necessarily an exhaustive list, but they are, they are the main ones. Um, but also, if you're not sure, you'd always say on your receipt how much the GST is. Uh, you might have to split it out because it might not be the full 10%, like I was saying when you go to the shop and you you know buy some groceries, some have GST, and then you buy some other things that um, you know don't have GST. Um, so you might have to split it out for that. Um, but if whenever a supplier bills you or anything like that, it will always say down the bottom what the GST amount is. So you always know what the GST amount is and that's how you know when to use this code. Now GST on imports, you're probably not going to use this one very much for most businesses unless you're an importer of course. Uh, this one would be used if for instance you've made an import, um, you brought in some goods from overseas and when you paid for it there was no GST on it but then um, after the fact um, the customs office sent you like, a separate bill um, levying GST on the imports and like it came through just uh, the GST component only so it'd be 100% GST on a previous purchase so when you would have something like that you would use the GST imports code to um, pick that up and GST on income, of course. So for most businesses um, selling in Australia who are registered for GST, this you know they'd use this for everything, unless of course they are a um, selling GST exempt goods. And that's pretty much it, guys. So Simple Bass has been a really good thing to open up, um, or I guess to demystify the the activity statement process for small business for bookkeepers who want to have a crack at doing their own bass, but the previous full bass system was a bit more confusing because there are a bunch more different codes here that you had to know what to use for different circumstances. So it's been really good in that sense. So if you have the option to switch over to simple bass in your zero and you're earning under 10 mil a year, I definitely recommend you do it because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Now that's pretty much it for the video. Just a very quick one here. Um, if you'd like to organize some training, hit us up. I'm going to have the, uh, our web address in the description below. Uh, we can come out and do some training at your organization. We can do some training online as well. Whatever it may be, let us know what you need help on and we'll put a, a little package together for you. But um, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, if you liked it, please hit like, subscribe if you want to see more because I'm putting out uh, a lot more of these videos. So hopefully, you know, we can help you out along the way. But that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching and catch you later.